Welcome to another video in our series of finding statistical analysis using IBM SPSS 26. In this video, we'll be finding the summary statistics about, or as it's known as descriptive statistics. And for this part, I'm going to do it using several methods. So let's start with the data we have here, we have separate data for male and female that we used in other uh, videos. Let's go to analyze, analyze, descriptive statistics, and let's start with explore. Let's see, we want to do it for male. We use this for stem. Box, and we did this time on leave or box plot. This time we don't want the plot, so we're going to just choose statistics and click over here and say descriptives. If you want the conference interval, it could be 95 to keep it. You don't want 95, you can change it. Let's see if we have any outliers. You can find the percentiles and you click on continue, click OK. And you will see that it gives us how many values we have. It gives us the descriptive statistics over here, which is the mean, standard error, lower and upper bound for the 95% confidence interval, the median, variance, standard deviation, range, interval, entire range, and so on. It also gives us the percentiles because we Selected that, so we did it for 5th, 10, 25, 50, 75, 90, 95 percentile. Remember, these are the first, second, and third quartiles. And of course, it gives us the extreme values. So that's one method of finding the analysis. Now, let's go and find it for the male. But this time, we're going to go to frequencies. And we're going to look at statistics. And here, you can pick whatever you want. So if you don't want all the values that were given in the previous method, you can say you want only the mean, probably the median. If you want some quartiles, if you want some percentiles, specific percentiles, let us assume you may want the 92nd percentile, and the second percentile, and probably the 99 percentile. If you want the standard deviation, you want the variance, you want the range. So you check only the points or the values that you want. Go to the charts, make sure you choose none because we don't want any charts. And uncheck the display frequency table because also we don't want it. So just to avoid unnecessary values or output, click on OK, and this gives you the statistics that you only asked for. So it gives you the mean, median, standard deviation range, and it gives us the percentiles that we asked for. Okay, now let's go back and summarize where do we get these values. So go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, Pick your variable, click on statistics, and choose the values that you want. The measures of central tendency, dispersion, whatever percentile and quartiles that you want. And the other method would be to go to analyze, scripted statistics, explore, and you click on statistics. Descriptive will give you everything, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, range, Variance, and you can choose if you want the outliers and the percentiles. Theory don't specify it gives you basically everything. Okay. Next, let's go back to the data set that we used for one of the box plots. And this here, we have only one column for the age, and we have for each age the gender. So we're going to let SPSS split them by gender 
and find the analysis for us. So we're going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and this time not Frequency, but Explore. You can see that I already selected these, so let's just show you how to do it. We put the age, which contains the values as the dependent list, and the gender as the factor list. This is similar to what we did with the box plot. That's why the values were here. And now we want statistics. We don't want plots. Remember with the plots, we pick the box plot. So now let's just make sure it's none. Or we can just say we don't want the plot. And we got statistics, and the same idea you can display, so sort of choose what you want. Descriptives will give us everything, outlier, percentiles, and it's going to be by gender. So let's click OK, and you will see that it gives us all the summary statistics, all the descriptive statistics by gender. So same idea. We have 12 female, 16 males, and here we have for each gender the statistics that we want. Confidence level, mean, median, variance, standard deviation, range, and so on. This is for female, this is for male. And if we scroll down, it gives us the percentiles, and these are the first, second, and third quartiles, and it's for both of them, the male and female, and the extreme values for both males and females. Okay, so this will give us everything that we got before, except now we have one column for the age and different categories for the gender, similar to what we talked in the box plot video. If you have more than two, when we go to Analyze, Descriptive, and Explore, the factor list will determine how many factors you have, and it will split them by those factors. Okay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on SPSS, Excel, and some lecture notes.